Joel Alworth was among the SFPD officers who had to turn in their badges when they failed to comply with the vaccine mandate. Life was good for Eilworth. He lived with his wife, Gina, and their two young sons in a house near his wife's family in San Francisco. When COVID vaccines became available, the SFPD announced it would require the vax unless officers had a valid religious or medical exemption on file. Less than a month later, on September 16th, he received an email informing him that his original exemption was no longer valid. When COVID-19 vaccines became widely available in the spring of 2021, some businesses announced that if employees wanted to keep their jobs, they'd have to get the jab. Most people complied, but many did not. The Mayo Clinic, New York City, United Airlines and many health care facilities nationwide were among the organizations that terminated employees who remained unvaccinated. Some law enforcement agencies also fired staffers who refused the vaccine, including the San Francisco Police Department. Joel Eilworth was among the SFPD officers who had to turn in their badges when they failed to comply with the vaccine mandate. As a Christian, I don't believe in injecting biological substances into my blood, Eilworth told BNC News in a phone interview. Eilworth said he also believed that as a healthy man in his 30s, he was not at risk for the adverse effects of COVID. I focused on the data which said this virus wasn't really killing people, he said. People in my age group have a 99.9% .9 survival rate without any vaccine. As information continues to emerge today about COVID's lab origins, Eilworth said he stands by his decision. Police work in his blood. Eilworth, 40, was a third-generation police officer who originally wanted to join the FBI. He opted to follow in his father's and grandfather's footsteps instead. When Eilworth was growing up in Fairfield, California, his father was the sheriff in the county where they lived. His grandfather worked with the San Francisco Police Department in the 1950s through the 1970s. Eilworth joined the Oakland Police Department in 2006. In 2013, he transferred to the SFPD, where he worked for more than eight years. He patrolled primarily in the Mission District and spent two years training veteran officers and recruits. Life was good for Eilworth. He lived with his wife, Gina, and their two young sons in a house near his wife's family in San Francisco. He had a job he loved. He just never expected that his 14-year career in law enforcement would end because of a vaccine mandate. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, Eilworth was working full-time training officers at the San Francisco Police Academy. Right away, they shut down the academy, and then because there were no recruits or anyone to train, the department realized they had all this extra personnel doing nothing, he said. For a few weeks, Eilworth and some other officers, he said, were tasked with going downtown to the Tenderloin District and keeping homeless people from congregating, because COVID supposedly spread very easily, he said. Face masks were required for all officers, but the department only mandated tests for those who got COVID or who were in close contact with someone who did. When COVID vaccines became available, the SFPD announced it would require the vax unless officers had a valid religious or medical exemption on file. On August 19, 2021, Eilworth filed for a religious exemption, he said. Also, we knew as early as March 2021 that this vaccine did not protect against transmission, he added. He also said he was not comfortable with the amount of research or the validity of the research into the effects and risks of the vaccine. Eilworth's exemption was approved by the SFPD's Human Resources Department, he said. Less than a month later, on September 16, he received an email informing him that his original exemption was no longer valid. Upon his refusal to get the vaccine, Eilworth said he was placed on a 30-day administrative leave. He shared with BNC News the verbiage of the letter he received on this. The health and well-being of city employees and the public we serve are top priorities during our emergency response to COVID-19. Your failure to comply with the vaccination requirement endangers the health and safety of the city's workforce and the public we serve. The city repeatedly notified you of this requirement. As a result of your non-vaccination status, you are unable to perform essential job functions. After receiving one month of paid leave, Eilworth said he was then placed on administrative leave without pay. BNC News reached out to the San Francisco Police Department. The department declined to offer comment about Officer Eilworth, as it is a personnel matter, a spokesperson said. The department did confirm, however, that Officer Eilworth separated from SFPD on March 10, 2022. On March 15, 2022, the SFPD disarmed Eilworth and took away his star and ID card, he said. Then, on March 28, 2022, he was officially fired. The ironic part is, after the onset of COVID, I worked until October 2021, around one and a half years, without any vaccine, and I was deemed essential, Eilworth said. Then in October, I was suddenly deemed a direct threat to the public, even though back in March 2021, we knew the vaccine offered no protection of transmission, but supposedly just lessened symptoms, he said. Fighting for his rights.
At a hearing held in October 2021, the SFPD was due to present evidence of the claim that Isleworth was a direct threat to the public, but they did not do that, he said. I've never been evaluated by a doctor to see if I'm carrying some infectious disease. I've never been tested for natural immunity or even asked, Isleworth also told BNC News. The only evidence they provided at a so-called hearing was the emails they sent advising me to get the vaccine, he said. At peace with my decision. After what happened to him in San Francisco, Isleworth, his wife and their two sons moved to Nampa, Idaho, he told BNC News. He left behind a career that he loved and a $200,000 annual salary. Even so, Isleworth does not regret refusing to get the COVID vaccine. He admits that the situation was scary, especially since his wife homeschools their children and he is the family's sole income earner. Yet ultimately he feels at peace with his decision. Today, Isleworth is a life coach and holistic health coach, something he said he'd wanted to pursue ever since his mother was diagnosed with cancer. He originally launched it as a side business back in 2014, but now he has the opportunity to devote himself to coaching full-time. Everything happens for a reason. In October 2022, the New York State Supreme Court called for all public city employers to rehire anyone the city had terminated as a result of vaccine mandates. Massachusetts also offered to bring back some fired state employees. And many big companies, including Starbucks, Adidas and Intel, have dropped employee vaccination requirements. Would Isleworth ever consider returning to police work if the SPFD offered to rehire him? I don't know right now, he answered. I'll make that decision when the time comes. I do believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that life happens for you, not to you. Perhaps most importantly, Isleworth said he is proud of the example he has set for his kids. While they may not yet fully understand everything that happened, he said he takes comfort in the fact that he stood up for his beliefs. Because I know who I am and what I stand for, it makes it much easier for me to show up as a great father and role model, he said. Isleworth ended the interview saying this.